All right, guys, in this video here, I'm going to voice this one over. I forgot to cut my mic on on my microphone. But anyway, what you see before you here, I think, is a very budget friendly oscilloscope and seven inch tablet setup. This here is a top down oscilloscope. It's in the same family as the launch and the think car oscilloscope. You know, they're all, I believe, made uh, along the lines of our uh, hand tech scopes. And so any of these scopes should work with the King Bowling K7. Now, with the King Bowling K7, what's special about it is that it's a seven inch uh, um, tablet. Uh, I mean, a scan tool that usually is tablets. I mean, scan tools this size do not have access to oscilloscope as a feature. So that's a pretty big deal. And I think that um, putting these together really makes for a very budget friendly setup to have a powerful scan tool and a pretty powerful oscilloscope. Um, there's not much else to be said other than the fact that, um, again, this scope here has really good uh, features, really good sampling rate. Uh, the software is pretty intuitive where you can actually pinch and zoom on the screen with your fingers on the left, on the Y axis or the X axis. Now my hand here, this here is the uh, snap on our uh, waveform demonstration board. And here I'm just pointing out that, you know, we have the uh, several different options here, such as um, uh, um, waveforms, such as um, uh, uh, frequencies and um, what else? Um, injectors, and you can even make them glitch if you choose. And we're only going to just go over a few of these. Again, I just want to demonstrate just how well this unit does work with this um, board and how well this scope will display on this screen. So the hookup is uh, pretty straightforward. You just take the USB cord from the scope and basically you just plug it into the USB um, port on the bottom of the um, scan tool. And that's essentially it. And there you have it. So the scope is powered up just like that. And if you go to module, it'll show that, go to the module section, the scope is connected and what'll happen is that because it's connected, it'll automatically open the software. It just takes a second or two and there you have it. It's opening the software and the software is getting fired up and that's pretty much it. Um, here, I only have one act channel active, but again, this thing has a million giga samples or one giga samples and you can turn on, I'm turning on all four, um, um, what I want to say channels right now. And I'm just showing you how you can touch the screen go up and down. And basically you can separate the channels just by touch, just like that. I don't know what channel it is. Maybe there's channel three, channel two, and channel four is a green, I believe. And that's pretty much it. And they're easy to turn off just on the touch screen. So that's why I really like this scope. It's like really intuitive to use, um, basically. So in the turn these scopes off here, I mean, the channels, these, ex, these excess channels off, you can just double click the channels uh, name over to the right. Those little squares, you see me double clicking them now and it just opens a menu and I click it again and it closes down that channel. Again, you can see me just take my finger, I'm gonna touch the screen and um, well, I'm starting to record right now. And up, I'm gonna pop the overlay onto the screen. So now I'm gonna show you close up what it looks like, how you can just take your finger and move up and down on the screen, how you can move, use that to pinch and zoom in the Cartesian plane. Or you can also, and I, oh, okay, in this part here, I'm explaining the trigger where if you see the yellow up top in that trigger um, box, that means that's just for channel one. But you can, if you click the different, if you click the trigger thing and then it, you'll see different colors pop up that's respective to that channel, like green, turquoise, or um, I believe magenta. But you can also just hold long press the trigger and then you can just drag up and down and then you have your trigger. You can just manually put anywhere on the screen just like that. All right, so uh, what am I gonna do now? I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect up. Um, let's see here connect up some things to the demo board here. Let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, I think the first one I'm gonna do is the injectors, the injector pulse. And I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna demonstrate how to, yeah, there we go, there's a pulse. And I'm gonna demonstrate how you can just take your finger and just drag them up and down the screen if you want. 
and also how you can really just take and use the little button, if you will, on the screen on the right side of the scan tool to change the um, voltage. And then you can also use these square ways at the bottom, as you'll see in a moment, where you can actually change the time base. So again, using my fingers to, to pinch and squeeze to, to show that. And also I'm showing now the square waves at the bottom, how you can change the time base just as simple by clicking that, or you can take your two fingers and just swing them back and forth and you can do it just that way. So again, this scope in my, from my perspective is pretty easy to use on a touch screen. Um, it's designed for touch screens and it works quite well. So again, you see me moving a trigger up by this long hill where it says trigger and just push it up and down. And now you can see the, um, inject the pulses just going right on by just like that. And I believe I'm going to, am I going to change it right now? I'm going to, I think I'm talking about, yeah, there's a glitch uh, setting on this demo board and I think it's glitching, but the only way you can see it, you got to slow it down or put more on the screen. So I think at this point you'll see some of the glitches, like some of the injector pulses may flicker a little bit. I believe if I recall, right. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah. You saw one flicker right there. So that's, um, it's just set. It's, it'll just make like a some sort of random pattern of just something flickering that if you turn that glitch setting off. But I, I don't know if I even know if I even bothered bother to turn it off because the whole point of this demonstration here is just to show that you can get really nice looking waveforms on the screen with this seven inch screen. Now, here's the frequency, just like, for example, if it's doing a mass airflow sensor. And again, just going to demonstrate just what I just did is some, I just want to show you three different forms. And this is the second form of three where you can just pinch and zoom the voltage or pinch and zoom the uh, time base. And you can also use the um, buttons on the side and at the bottom of the screen. So as you see here, I'm demonstrating that now I'm going to increase that time base by stretching that out a bit and pretty much it or decrease the time because I can't remember. But um, yeah, as you can see, I'm just manipulating everything on the screen. I also can just take the buttons on the side and go up and down. So however you choose to do it, it's really up to you. You can definitely see whatever you're looking for clearly. For example, if you was using injectors already using this type of, and again, I just reset the triggers. You can saw that you know, if you want to look at a mass airflow sensor. Now, one thing I don't know if you, if the math channel is sophisticated here to take this and turn it into a frequency curve. I'm not entirely for sure. What well, is this frequency, but turn it into an actual amp. Uh, what does it call a digital curve? Yeah, I think so. Um, all right, here's the sine wave here. And again, I am just um, here again, just talking about the advantages of looking at this. And also again, as I'll go ahead and say, as I said in the video, I think is that if you really like stuff like this, Go ahead, subscribe and share this video. In addition, and uh, additionally to that, right now from August the 27th for the next couple of days, there's going to be 25% off this unit on Amazon. So if you're interested in a nice, powerful seven inch scan tool with three years of free updates that do not lose any uh, what retains like 95% of this functionality itself for any online features after the updates are out of after they expired, this scan tool here is one for you to consider. So, all right. So now, as you can see here, I'm just uh, using, again, just demonstrating how easy it is. As you can see, the glitch setting is still on, on the demo board. As you can see, it's making little glitches. But anyway, I think I turned it off. But um, as you can see, it just um, works just fine. I mean, you can see that you can, you can manipulate the time base by pinching and zooming. You can manipulate the voltage by pinching and zooming. And I can only say good things about this entire setup. The King Bolin K7 is a fantastic small unit, has a pack with lots of features. And again, if you add this to your arsenal or if you're in the market for a scan tool of this price range, I definitely would give this one a look.